Who's right? Who's wrong? You decide. Hash it out. Brought to you by Remen Wholesale. Hi, I'm Carl Markman with Remen Wholesale. We're incredibly proud of our history of educating and partnering with the broker and banker community to prepare you for what's next. We've always been committed to same-day turn times on initial underwrites, which allows us to earn your business each and every day. We're happy to sponsor the following program. Hello, my name is Brian Stevens and this is Frank Array, and welcome to another edition of Hash It Out. Today we want to talk about something that frankly we always talk about and that's marketing. But marketing runs the entire spectrum. You could market in a newspaper, in a magazine, you could do a blog, you could do videos, you could do mailers, you could do anything you want and market and find effectiveness with it. Sure. Today we want to talk about writing articles in newspapers, magazines, and blogging. Mm -hmm. The reason we want to speak about this is because we know a guy named Michael Deary down in San Diego who's right. closing over 20 deals a month right now, a top 1% producing loan officer, and in a conversation that we had with him with loan officers, he said that writing is integral to his success. How do you feel about that? Well, I, I look at it this way. The guys that are doing the writing or the radio shows, these type of guys, they tend to be more uh, career oriented or long term okay. Okay. thinking is, is where they're at. We know a gentleman in the Bay Area. Uh, he's, he has a radio show he's had right. for a long time. And I personally thought that he was part of the radio station. I really sure. did. But no, it turns out he's just a loan officer who has this show that he started out by, you know, paying, I, I believe, but I don't think he has to do that anymore because it became Either so way. popular. But what he's done is he's thought long term. He's thought big career, right? So now he's this perceived expert, and I'm sure he is very good. And he's been doing it for years. He's been doing it for years. He's been doing it for years. So I think that one thing that Michael Deary said is, you know, there's not a lot of competition out there. Nobody no. does it. And I'm wondering if that's because most people just have a sh are, are more short-sighted in their marketing than these guys are. I mean, what do you, what do you think? Okay, and, and by the way, another example would be Marty up in Seattle. I know he's been doing yes. this radio show for 20 years, so yeah. people are familiar with what he does, and I'm sure his business reflects that. Yeah. Uh, now, it's not realistic for everybody to go uh, write an article for your local newspaper okay. or to do a radio show, uh, but the good thing that we have going for us is is 99.99% of your competition simply isn't even going to try. Right. And if you look in your local papers, I'd be willing to bet you that they don't have a local real estate expert or lending expert with actual boots on the ground expertise. Yeah. Meaning there is, an, a, ch there is a chance and an opportunity for it. Mm -hmm. Now, I like what you said about um, it's, it's a long-term goal because right. well, look at us. I mean, what we've done with video blogging, it took us three years before anything came of it. Right. So I think going into something with a professional approach with no real um, understanding or belief in short-term gain, this is going to be what you're doing long-term because you're a professional and you're not positioning yourself to be in this business for two years, right. but rather 20 years. 20, yeah. And if you do that and you can make yourself a staple within the community, it certainly is a good idea. The question becomes, how do you find the information? Okay, great. I'm the local expert. What do I talk about? Do I we hear it all the time. Yeah, well, one thing, I mean, watch our show. We're always bringing up information that you can talk about. The nationalrealestatepost.com. Search websites, etc. Look for real estate news, mortgage news. Anytime anything comes out that makes you in your industry kind of go, huh, that's a pain in the butt. You know, well, there's something that you can write about and there's plenty of that going on right now. And the way that you get it in front of these newspapers is you simply send it in. That's what Michael Deary said. Yeah. He said, I found out who the editor was. I just Googled who's the editor of my local paper, found out who it was, and just started sending the editor, you know, here's some material, here's posts. something I wrote, here's something I wrote, do you need me to contribute? Next thing you know, yes, we'd like to have you in there. Now he's in there twice a month yeah. as a featured, basically columnist, right? right? You know, right. with uh, an article on real estate and mortgage. So, you, you know, know, that bodes real well. You know, one of the things I've always said for loan officers out there is, you know, we're always trying to figure out content that you can go ahead and share with anybody. I've always said, all you have to do is look at any one of your approvals. Yeah. And when you see that condition on there that makes you want to rip your hair out at the roots, that's yeah. probably something that you can turn into a piece of information that you can share, not only with consumers, but keep in mind, with your realtor partners out right. there, with your affinity partners. I mean, yeah. real estate is something that really uh, permeates the fabric of everybody's existence. So you can find some of um, uh, uh, the issues that you're dealing with on a daily basis, make that consumer friendly and send it out. It's not as hard as you think. We've been doing it for about 10 years now. Yeah, something you brought up when we were doing coaching, and we'll, we'll wrap this thing up, sure. but was the fact that most people get online and, and they consume information. Right. Most people are not providing the information. Right. So it's just like Michael Deary said, and you said, if you could be one of those people that's actually a content provider, you're really standing out. Yeah. You're really becoming an exceptional 
um, you know, character in your industry, right. whatever that whatever that might be. So anyway, and one last point I yeah. want to say. If, if there's a naysayer out there saying, well, I live in a big market and this simply won't fly because we don't have the small mom and pop newspapers, I do want to point out that Michael Deary, Michael Deary is in San Diego, yeah. not exactly a small area. Right. So the point is, uh, whatever you're doing with your marketing, I think there's a level of consistency that you have to uh, consider. And if you're looking at education as part of your marketing tools or your platform, a spoke on the wheel of your industry and, and your profession, um, do a good job at it, do it consistently, and get it out in front of people, and you might be surprised with some of the responses that you get. Well, there you go. Let us know your thoughts down below, and maybe if you have experience at this, that would be very helpful for everybody else sure. as well. And we'll catch you here next time on Hash It Out. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye. What's the ultimate measure of a wholesale lender? Commitment. Remen Wholesale is committed to our broker partners. It's why we provide a huge educational platform, offering everything from webinars to seminars to individualized training tools in the program you just watched. We understand that our role is to make you look great in front of your customers and referral sources so you can earn more business and increase your income. Find out more at RemanHosel.com. This is Mortgage News Network.